100 year old Weizenborn slide guitar made in California between 1921 and 1923 by Herman Weizenborn. And one of the reasons this guitar sounds different to almost every other guitar you'll ever hear is because for the last century this wood has been changing. And the way wood changes in a guitar or any kind of instrument is that as it ages, the moisture leaves the timber. And there's a great article on theacousticguitarist.com that talks about this. In short, as wood ages, its tensile strength to weight ratio improves, making the guitar more responsive and resonant. So this limits the wood's ability to hold moisture relative to the surrounding humidity. And when you get less moisture, you get the timber stabilizing. You also get the wood being lighter, and lighter leads to more resonance and better tone. So generally, after about 20 years, you hear acoustic guitars really starting to sound great. This one's had five times that amount of time. The other unique thing about this instrument is that it is a completely hollow construction. Most guitars have a solid neck. However, this one is completely hollow. So it is one giant resonating chamber. And when you hit a chord, you can hear that resonating chamber. You can hear how long that sustain is and how warm it is and how rich it is. And you can feel in this guitar that there's really nothing else going on. It is so light. Um, the moisture is all gone. The bracing is very subtle. It's just an incredible instrument. And the other beautiful thing about an instrument this old is that the character just oozes from it. You can feel how different it is to play compared to a new instrument because it's just got all these little quirks and these little nuances. But the tone is also so rich that it really makes certain styles of music sound great, such as the blues. And a slide guitar is played very differently to a normal guitar. First of all, you might notice that I've got these, these finger picks on. I'm also playing with a metal bar. And so the action of a slide guitar is quite high. The strings never actually touch the fretboard. And the way the notes are actually created is by this metal bar sliding up and down the neck, stopping over those bar markings. So you get this incredible incredible kind of microtonal sound. And the name Weizenborn has become very well known in the guitar world and this style of guitar now gets replicated by many contemporary luthiers and guitar makers. And Herman Weizenborn was a German-born American who initially made violins and repaired pianos. But he latched on to the popularity of Hawaiian music coming through America and turned his attention instead to the slide guitar. And you can really hear the Hawaiian roots of this instrument when you play it in a certain way. <laughs> The other thing that the hollow neck does is it makes this instrument very loud. So you can actually play it very gently and get some very sweet tones out of it, or you can really dig in and get it to growl. And this actually makes it quite versatile compared to some of its Hawaiian ancestors. The wise one actually found its way into contemporary music and, and rock music, and people like David Lindley were masters of the instrument. And Ben Harper is another artist who has brought this instrument into popular contemporary music. And so you can actually get quite a lot of versatility out of this instrument. And if you play it quietly and sweetly, you get some lovely tones like this. Thank you. 
if we go the other way and play it with a bit more grit and dig in a little more with the picks. string tension and the metal bar you can also play some really fast kind of lines and bounce the, the tip of the bar around the strings <laughs> But arguably nothing sounds as good on these as old-timey music. 